Hello everybody, this is Punter Frugal Streamer, and first of all, I wanted to say thank you for 2,000 subscribers on my channel. Uh, it means a lot to me and the support with you guys, especially I would say the last three months, has been fantastic. I have seen a lot of growth since then, and it just goes to show that a lot of people are interested in learning how to stream as uh, Twitch is quickly becoming uh and overtaking youtube as the number one social platform for gaming in my opinion but with that being said i want to show you an obs uh studio feature i think many of you will be interested in and it will make your stream more professional now this will require you to have what is called a video stinger what is a video stinger well let me show you what that is because i'm going to show you my buddy kickstand here now kickstand is a soon to be partnered streamer he is mainly an fps guy uh, plays a lot of Ghost Free Con, plays a lot of PUBG, Battlefield. Uh, but he is, he probably, in my opinion, has one of the nicest stream packages that I think you'll see on Twitch. It's clean, it's custom, it meets his theme. And his video transition that he uses is also custom and goes along with his theme, and it's very nice what it does. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. Let me go ahead and play it real quick. Let me switch the scene over here so you can get a nicer view of it. But there it is right there. Real quick and simple. But you saw how it worked in. It came in um, two sides, and it, had a, and it has audio that goes along with it to give it extra effect. OBS will give you the ability to do that. Now, what is cool about OBS is that OBS... Uh, has this built in now it used to be a third-party plugin but now it is built in and I'm going to show you how to use it okay so let's go ahead and uh, close this out and we have OBS right here so what I want to do is I want to go down let me switch this back over and I want to go down and hit this plus symbol okay down here at the bottom right here and go and you have this thing called stinger now click on stinger Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it a stinger. It's easy. And now you come up with this UI where you can add a video file. Now, you need to make a video file for this transition. Okay. I personally don't have the skills to make one that's really nice like Kickstands has. But there are some, some, you know, basic ones that you can download on the internet, which is what I have done to use for this tutorial so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and install this sliding bars transition okay a couple se selections you could do here you can do time in milliseconds or frame uh you can also add uh the transition point in milliseconds uh you can also for audio you can either monitor it as defaults is off okay or you can monitor it but not output it to your stream or you can monitor it and output it okay so if you actually want this to go to your stream, you have to select this monitor and output. Okay. Likewise, this audio you have also this audio fade style. You can either do a cross fade or a fade out to transition point and then fade in. I don't really know what the difference is, but I would probably use a cross fade if I were you. All right, so you have that, right? So now we have this. You see Stinger down here. Okay, whatever you select for your transition, your scene transition down here, that's what's going to uh, happen when you operate this button right here. Okay, so if I press transition between my two scenes, you see what happens. Let me do this again. That way you have, there you go. Now it's showing a different screen. Uh, now this transition is not a transparency. It's just a cheesy transition that shows you, uh, you know, ways that you can use this. But uh, it's just here. This is just a way to show you how to get these transitions to work. I admittedly don't have one personally. Um, that is something I'm working on, but like I said, I do not have the skills to make one. But it is something that you can uh, use. You can, make, if you're good with video, then you can make these for yourself. Otherwise, if you're a up and coming streamer and you have a little bit of money, you can pay somebody uh, to make one for you and uh, you know make it theme based. Uh, but that being said, that is really it. Now, a couple of things I wanted to show you real quick. Uh, you know, you also have that control here. Um, if you wanted to change something with it while you have it, um, as long as you have it displayed here, you can go to properties and that will bring the UI back up. Um, you can also go to quick transitions here and select stinger here. 
and instead of using it here you can just press it here and the same thing's going to happen okay and it's that simple or if you wanted to uh remove it you can get rid of it so that's really it guys that's stinger in a nutshell a lot of people a lot of these uh a lot of bigger streamers are starting to use these now and uh they do add a level of professionalism to your live stream in my opinion so go out there and give it a shot for yourself i think you'll find that especially if you have the ability to make them yourself using after effects uh you can uh go and really make some really nice uh transitions for your live stream so go out there give it a shot and see what you think i hope this helped you out uh as it's nice that obs is adding these uh taking plugins like this and then embedded them into our uh, future builds i think the same thing is going to happen with a uh, third-party plugin that, that many are using right now to stream without a capture card it's called ndi i have done a tutorial on ndi you should check that out also i would venture to say that because of the popularity of it and the fact that it's becoming an industry standard you will soon see ndi embedded in obs studio so that'll be nice too but yes video transitions are nice and you know these little stingers like this are really cool and it just gives an, ad, an added little extra layer to your live stream that i think your viewers will appreciate all right guys that is it for me this is punt frugal streamer i got well i want to say for my family to yours i hope you guys have a happy holidays and merry christmas and again thank you for the 2000 subscribers if you do like this video and it does help you out please like and subscribe please all right guys that's it for the pun we'll see you later guys Bye bye